Hey guys, so it's Nick here and I'm here to show off my anime collection. Uh, uh, I have done this once before, I haven't done it. Um, I'm not sure how much, if it has like even grown. I mean, I think some of that and, you know. Uh, this also I haven't been shown anything else. But I'm just going to do a whole walk through, just show them all and names, whatever. So I just got to get through it. A few updates, I think. First off, Akira. Also has a post over here. Really good. Uh, so I have the second one on a... Uh, no, actually, I mean, I, have t I used to have two copies, but right now I gave one of them to my friend, and then uh, just kept this one, because I like the cover art on this a bit more. Animatrix. Uh, pretty good. It's kind of a bit of, uh, you know, I think, so. yeah. Anthology with a lot of different small stories. Just want to get through these really fast. Arietta Blu-ray that I found really cheaply. Danish Blu-ray. Uh, it's pretty decent when I watch it. Haven't seen this on Blu-ray, but I have seen on what else. And the newest edition, I believe it is one of the newest, is Attack on Titan Part 1. And there's also a thing where I made Death Note, which is also up there. Wait a second. Let me just show you guys. Also, right here, all of the episodes. All I did an unboxing this, my channel. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't, I don't feel like it really fits that bit. They're like great, so I just well displayed. <sighs> pretty, pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna see this anytime soon. So I only bought part one, simply because the animation is really good and I'd like to see it on my little small TV or there and hopefully someday a big TV and the, what's it called, the uh, inside artwork is also really cool, you know, some cool artwork and some more behind here. Bart Brothers, first anime sort of complete collection I bought, knowing that this was because my, my lane, which is complete, is just one uh, disc, one I will, will call one box because I thought there was like different parts and I thought it was like the entire series but just, you know, different like sort of covers but uh, I just only have this because I just, at the time I felt like a real head like is, you know, one because they didn't fill up much, that up that much, and you know, so pretty decent as well. Bleach is just the first season. Not planning on buying anything more anytime soon. Maybe the memories of nobody and the it's called Hellverse or something. Uh, because the show that got me started into it and uh, pretty cool. So this part of the kitchen just keep in here because you know why not. Yeah. Show us over though. So, you know, other way. Pretty cool set. Well, plus, my third show only comes with two episodes, but also have like an extra CD with some music and st soundtrack. Blood, sort of a. Well, it feels more like an extended episode or something, but it's supposedly a movie, even though it's not like 45 minutes, so, you know. Castle of Glisto, try to watch this. Made by Hayao Miyazaki, but he's just kind of like a movie for another series, so I didn't feel like it really fitted much, so I didn't really watch all the food. Uh, Spirit Away, the first Hayao Miyazaki film that I got, and the first anime DVD I got, I believe. Pretty good. Kawaii Bebop. Uh, watch this one, and yeah, pretty cool. Favorite movie of all time, House Moving Castle. Great, as usual. Dragon Ball C, random episodes. Danish, cool, fun but cheap. Uh, Doom Masters, once again, Danish stuff, pretty cool. Hadn't watched it. Well, I had watched the episodes, but didn't feel like watching all, uh, even after the past. Bought it, haven't really watched more than like four episodes. Six, I don't remember. Freedom, 
which has podcasts that now have, have like anime series on Blu-ray, but it's kind of like 3D animation, so it's not really classic 2D, so the show and I'll be watching that. Ghost in the Shell, classic as well. Final Fantasy, what's it called, like 7 Epic Children, which is of like the big fight, fight between Sephiroth and Cloud. Have not played any of the games, but I am planning to watch it someday. Gundam Seed. At least the first disc was kind of not working, sort of infected, I don't know, just if the quality was pretty bad. But I'm keeping it because it's hard to find for a good price. Hamiyazagi, sort of collection. Word Spiritual Away, Noska and uh, Laputa's Castle in the Sky. Uh, High School of the Dead. Pretty good, has a bit of sand, for, have quite a bit of sand fan service. Shinji. The OVA, and do hope that the second season comes some at some point. I'm blabbing, mumbling, bah. <laughs> Whisper of the heart. I tried to watch it, but I don't know. You need to be in a special mood to watch uh, me as I movie. I feel Wayne, and uh, show this is, is in fact the entire series, three discs. Love you know, I think about getting rid of these just because I don't want to watch them, but I don't know, we'll see. And part two. Tropolis. Same guy who the guy who actually made uh, sort of the godfather of anime, uh, uh Osamu Tesukas. He made Astro Boy and this is pretty much Astro Boy in like a movie backstory, I guess. Uh one of those can be as cute or Oremo has some uh, Production something, a little book with some production notes or something, and some in character dialogue, I think. Also, come, comes with first two episodes, high quality, and then a CD with the music. Pokemon was in 2000, Pokemon 3, the only Danish Pokemon DVD I have. And this is pretty hard to find, and this is the English version. Because I couldn't find the Danish anywhere, all the first the movie, I really, 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 really wanted. Uh, Pokemon Heroes, the movie, haven't seen it. Panjo by the Cliff by the Sea, good. Pogo, haven't seen it. Poco Rosso, probably my third favorite Hair Miyazaki after Half Moon Castle and uh, I think, like, I don't know, maybe it is the second one. Not too sure. Maybe after, like, Grave of the Flyflies, because that's kind of really depressing, but also really well really, really made. Princess Mononoke, really good, but I'm not really like a huge fan, but it is still a great movie. Sandy Bell, hilarious dubbing, Danish dubbing, made by Toho, or Toei, was it Toho? Second. Uh, Toei. <sighs> yeah, Mao Miyazaki, and uh, yeah, still Ghibli, I've been working with Toei. Also, like it's Toho, which not which is the guys that made the that make the Godzilla movies. School Rumble, so it's reversed. School Rumble One and School Rumble Two. Have not watched any of this. Steam Boy that I just bought because it was made by the same guys who made or the same guy who made Miyazaki Akira. What's going on with me? I don't know. Yeah, looks pretty. Looks pretty entertaining, to say the least. Tell us from OC is supposedly the only bad Miyazaki movie. But I don't know, it's been quite a while since I've seen it, so. Yeah, I don't know. My name is Topotoro, probably the most famous besides like Spirited Away, but. You know, it's kind of just. I, would, I had expected a bit more, but. It's good if you are a kid at heart or you have kids. You know, it's entertaining enough. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Bonds Beyond Time, and also have the Danish uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! first movie, which, because I couldn't find it anywhere. Just like a Finnish first Yu-Gi-Oh! movie uh, copy with Danish. I guess they have like both the Danish and the English. But yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume... I don't really know. Five... Uh, 
The Spirit of the Ring, Volume 11, Keith Masquerade or something like that. Um, part 14, Ties of Friendship. Uh, part 15, Legendary Heroes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then Hugo GX, uh, which is called Doomsday Duel. So that's it. Pretty much, uh, guys, the entire collection in a bit of a bit of a different way to show it. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.